inventory, listing all the testing sites across the metro. A dangerous start to the new year. Kansas City police reported two people were shot and 11 properties were damaged, including a police vehicle on New Year's Eve. The cause is believed to be celebratory gunfire. We talk about this every year. Now proposed legislation would boost penalties for anyone responsible. KSHB 41 News anchor Brian Madrick talked with the mom of the girl who inspired this bill. I know when the wave is coming and when I have to ride a wave. For more than 10 years, Michelle Shanahan DeMoss has been riding a wave of grief. Her daughter, Blair Shanahan Lane, was struck and killed by celebratory gunfire on July 4th, 2011. She would have turned 22 later this month. She has friends that are getting married, friends that have had babies. I don't know what she'd be doing. I can only imagine. You know, sometimes I'll touch my own hair and I can remember what it's like to touch her hair and, you know, just things that I'll never get to do again. Michelle has turned her grief into action, working to educate people on the dangers of celebratory gunfire. It's not funny, it's not, there is no up or down that makes it right. It's, it's illegal whichever way you do it, just currently it's a misdemeanor. But now legislation in Jefferson City aims to change that. State Rep Mark Sharp has introduced a bill called Blair's Law. He says this legislation has been introduced every year since Blair's death and has fallen short of becoming law. Are you surprised it's been this difficult? Uh, it, it, it has been surprising. Uh, when I came to Jeff City two years ago, um, I thought this would have been a slam dunk back then. Blair's law would make it a misdemeanor for a first-time offender and a felony for repeat offenders. So what's been the problem in the past? So we have essentially five months to get bills passed, and sometimes we just simply run out of time. Representative Sharp says he's confident it will pass. Meantime, this mom continues to do what she can to save lives. It, you know, it is common sense, and it's common sense gun legislation and and pushing forward for that is something that I will continue to do.